The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. There's something, there's a spirit that grabs me, right? And it's in every one of you guys. But the question is, how much time are we wasting? I just came out of the gym for three hours this morning. I got five hours of sleep. That's it. Every day of my life, I'm trying to find a different way to get better. Coach didn't tell me to do this. I'm training for a lifestyle. I'm training because I said something that I wanted to be the greatest ever do it. And I'm not done yet. The intent is always the same. It's always going to be um, placing these guys in some adverse situations to see how they respond, to see who they can trust, to see who they can depend on, um, and to breed them and, and to build some kind of team camaraderie. And through that, through the intense training, through the intense workout, you know, there's going to be a lot of disagreements, um, a lot of whining, a lot of pouting, but eventually they figure out that we got to get out of here, we got to jail on one accord to make it through, and that's essentially what a team is about. It was a culture shock for a lot of them. Um, a lot of them have never been through any training as vigorous or as demanding as such as this, but um, they got through, and that's the overall objective. The primary objective is to get through along with your teammates because, you know, the thing about Eagle Storm is not simply about you. You want somebody to carry you through the line, you got the wrong one, E. If you walk in our locker room and, and see the team this year, they haven't accomplished anything. You know, I said, y'all, you guys haven't won a game. Some of you guys have never scored a point here at North Carolina Central, so you can't take credit for um, a, a path that was created by the pioneers before you. So, you know, it's great. They, they've given you, and I like to use the comparison or the analogy, they've given you the keys to a Ferrari, and you can't crash it right now. you got to bring it back with a full tank of gas and the car wash. So that's not going to be an easy process, but that's what we, that's our agenda. Human beings in a mind. What's a mob to a king? What's a king to a guy? What's a guy to a non-believer? Who don't believe in? Come on, KJ! Come on, KJ! Will he make it out of life? What you can see in Eagle Storm is, is not just about running, it's about yeah, helping your teammates, it's about details. And when I'm talking about details, when it comes to some, somebody can miss the line by this much. And that's crucial because in a game, you can lose a point by, you can lose a game by one point. If you lose a game by one point, it's the same by losing this point, like, that's an L. And that's like something we can't have. The same way it did in the Eagle Storm, people say, oh, I missed one, oh, I missed two. Oh, no, it's, it's deeper than that because it, it comes back and haunts you in the games. If we, if, we, if we don't prepare right right now in August, September, October, it's not, it's going to stay the same way all the way throughout the season. Who are you chasing, baby? For my second time around, it was definitely a different approach. Uh, I assumed it would be much easier because I knew what I was getting myself into, but coming in as a captain and stepping in into this new role, uh, I had to be way more vocal. Uh, and as Coach Morton says, learn the love language. I had to learn how I can speak to some of my teammates and how I shouldn't. Stop. So, then, so then what happened in the season? You gonna stop? Eagle Storm was some of the craziest stuff I've ever been through. Um, ever since I stepped foot on campus, I, I'm a gear man, so I always wanted some gear, waiting to get some gear to wear around campus. But coach was a, the players always told me coach was an old school guy and that we have to earn everything we got. I just want to divide the sense of entitlement from the sense of appreciation so we don't give out any 
athletic wear, no shoes, no nothing. If you go back and look at the video, they're running in their own clothes. And it's, it's quite simple. I just want them to understand that that's a process that you got to go through. And once you go through and get through, then you get to. And that's when I issue out equipment and, and, and things of that nature. We will work, we will work, we will outwork anybody, any team, any player. You know, I got an outstanding strength and conditioning coach with, with Coach Riley. And he's young, he's energetic, our guys really respond to him. We just got together and I just told him I wanted something with the Eagle Storm dealing with strictly weights and the strength and conditioning aspect of it outside of the gym. And he implemented a program that was really incredible as far as I'm concerned. The kids actually had to go through it, but it was really challenging. And uh, he pulled no punches. When you in that, that 10 for 11th run and you ain't had a break and your leg is getting heavy, it just, it just shows you how really tough you are and how much you can endure. What's so different about this work and the work you put on the court? When it gets tough, what's so different about this? And when you got to get down and defend somebody when it hurts, what's so different? Is there anything different? There's nothing different that we do out here that you're gonna do on the court. You gotta, you gotta think, you gotta remember that. There's gonna be nothing different because you're still gonna feel the same, okay? When it hurts, because everybody's gonna hurt. I promise you, everybody's gonna hurt. Everybody's gonna hurt. You gotta find a way to dig deep, okay? Within your soul, okay? And win the ball game. Loud, 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 loud. One, two, three. Greatness.